Writing a good research proposal and a grant winning research proposal is a tough for new researchers and for those even who are working first time on a new research topic. It is just like the first step in a very big journey and you should be familiar with the very strong concepts of research before building a strong research proposal. There are many AI tools which are helping you to structuring the research proposal or even write your research document, but what are the specific needs of a strong or a well-written research proposal? No AI tool is guiding you except Avexana. Because Avexana has designed specifically to provide you recommendations on the basis of its built-in templates which you can use according to your needs if you are a beginner or at initial stages of your research you can move forward towards a simple template of avexana which provides you pre-structured apa style outline but if you are a professional researcher and want to improve your each section of your research proposal then question based template is for you. This specific video is based upon that how you can use these two features to improve your research proposal to win the upcoming grants. So stay tuned. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, press the subscribe button so that you get notified with the latest content on time. You can access the tool by clicking the link which is available in the description box. When you click the link, you will direct it to Avexana. You can sign in Avexana just by using your Google account and after signing and you have to click my Avexana. We have already explored the research topic selection and finding the research gap feature of your research topic along with topic summary and methodological recommendation in our previous videos. You can find them from the links which are available in the description box or from the i button. This video is focusing on the research proposal build feature of Avexana which is providing you assistance to improve the weak areas or weak sections of your research proposal and make it a grant winning research proposal. For that purpose, Avexana provides you two templates. The first one is the simple template and the second one is the question based template. You can select according to your requirement and needs by exploring the feature of each template. When we talk about a simple template, evaluate your research proposal on the basis of the chapters which you have already written and provide you the suggestions to improve each each chapter according to the international standards of research proposal. You can select the template style. At the moment, Avexana is providing you APA style, but very soon you will see multiple formatting styles of research proposal in the template section. After selecting the template, you have to click on the chapter and here you have the list of all the chapters which we have to include in our research proposal starting from introduction chapter, literature review, research methodology, implications, budget and timelines and then references. You have to feed Avixana about each of your chapter which you have right earlier and feed Avixana about the introduction chapter and Avixana provides you suggestions to improve the areas if required. So for example, this is the introduction chapter which I have right and at this point, I have some writing blocks and I am confused what kind of information I should include in this chapter to make it more effective and brief. I can feed my writing in the introduction chapter and can get a recommendation of Avexana to improve this section. The response include the information needed. It defines the problem and their environmental and health concern. The response are included a clear definition. The also includes a clear definition of problem, but it does not uh, explicitly state the potential contribution to knowledge or research questions. So I have to, uh, so this specific introduction is just focusing on a little bit the background of the topic, but this is not providing about the potential contributions which this research is going to add in the existing knowledge along with what kind of research problem and research questions I'm going to address and what are the hypotheses all that. So in this way, I will be able to get the recommendations about the information which I need to include in that specific chapter to make it more authentic. This is the literature review chapter. In the same way, I can get recommendation about the literature review. Either it's covering all the information or there is some missing 
information which I have to add. The response includes analysis of the key theories and relevant studies such as the definition and their physical properties and the physical physiochemical properties and application in various fields. It also covers specific types of ionic liquids. The response touches on consistency and contradictions among these studies but does not address methodological and theoretical differences or identify gaps and shortcomings in the current literature. So, so improve your literature chapter and include all the required information that a literature chapter should have. You have to add these specific information in your literature review before submission your research proposal. In the same way, you can check research methodology and implications, budget and timelines and references by feeding Avixana about the information which you have already written. Let's use a one topic example which you can build with the help of Exana research topic builder feature or you can put your own personalized research topic before proceeding with the question based template of Avixana. If you didn't use Avixana to build your research topic then you can feed this tool about your research topic before moving forward to build your research proposal because if you complete this step before moving forward for your research proposal building then you will get more accurate and more relevant results. Question based a template of Avixana to refine your research proposal is going to offer you some advanced kind of recommendations and when we click on it you can see that there are steps of different levels of questions are there in the build-in template and you can use them to get professional suggestions to improve each section of your research proposal. Here are some examples which I tried and I get the amazing recommendations. Some are very much relevant on which I can work to improve my that specific section and some are very advanced which I considered to be ignored. So let's have a look on it and we will explore that how this question based template of Avixana work. This is basically the introduction chapter and to improve the introduction chapter of your research proposal you have to answer some of the questions on the base of the answer you provide at this place you will get some recommendations. For example this is the question what is the research topic and its broader context and when you see Avixana will give you the example of the answer you can provide at the response of this question at this stage before providing the answer you can work on that specific section you have included in your introduction chapter to build the broader context of your research topic if you are very much clear about that that's great if i'm not very much clear about the research topic broader context then avixana will help me to provide some recommendations after clicking on the recommendations button as you can see your response includes a brief mention of the broader field and its journal theme but it's like historical evolution emerging trends and future directions this also does not provide a comprehensive introduction to the broader field the response mainly focus on the demand for alternatives so at this section you can even provide the initial paragraphs of your introduction but as the recommendation is focusing on the emerging trends and future directions so at this moment you may ignore that because that will lead towards the development search objectives and research questions but you should mention the historical evolution at this point to make it more clear to understand the broader context of your research why is this topic significant and relevant to your field or community this is the second part which should be answered in the introduction chapter of your research proposal and you have have to prove that your response includes the information needed for the criteria of the relevance to the current issues however it is missing the contribution to knowledge and practical implications the potential benefits and impacts from outcomes are not mentioned so by getting a clear idea from the example answer you have to provide at this section it will be easy for you to get the most relevant recommendations and here again you have to mention the gaps and unsolved questions in the existing literature and your specific answer will be focused on the research gap you are going to address through your studies. This step is again focusing on the introduction chapter but here you are going to refine your research questions and objectives and for that purpose you have to feed Vixana about the specific problems or challenges does your research intend to address and then you can 
address the problem how can addressing this problem or question contribute to the field existing knowledge and after that you will move forward towards the literature review chapter and you can refine your literature review chapter by providing the answer of these specific questions what key theories and research studies are relevant to your topic and here you have to mention most related research literature review which are going to support your research gap or your future study how do these studies support or contradict each other if you have any a supporting literature or contradictory literature you can mention both there to to get the recommendation about the relevance of that specific literature with your research topic and research gap and then to refine the literature review where are the noticeable gaps or shortcomings in the current literature again you have to focus on the literature and you have to provide the literature along with your research gap and you have to mention that these recent studies have covered these specific aspects but they are not covering the one you are focusing on in your studies then you will get again a recommendation on your literature review and then you will refine your methodology research design and data source what which research approach suit your research question best and why here you will provide your research approach either you are going to work on qualitative or quantitative research approach or mixed method approach and you have to provide uh, that why this is going to get you the most accurate answers you are looking for and who or what is the focus of your study and here you can get a recommendation for your methodology chapter and the methodology you are going to adopt and Vitsana will dig in into the literature and will get back with the recommendations which are most relevant with your study then you can work on the significance and outcome chapter and you have to answer these questions and you can get the sample answers to get most related and addressable recommendations from Avaxana. So I found this tool very much relevant and very much problem solving for the for the young researchers who are struggling to develop the professional research proposal and who are not even familiar with the framework or the professional research proposal. To address the recommendation which Avaxana provides you at each step of your research proposal, you can either use a research literature feature of Avixana to find the related literature about your research topic and even you can see the insight of each research paper by going through its literature mattress feature which allows you to upload about 10 pdf files at one time you can buy Avixana from the link which is available in the description box and when you click the link you can even subscribe its one week plan where you can have access to all the features of Avixana for one week. You can formulate your research topic, refine it, reformulate it, compare it with the other topic and you will get access to all the features of its templates and you can develop it, share it and auto arrange the references and you will definitely are getting suggestions from the Avixana to improve it. Avixana is the tool which have been designed to take you along your research journey starting from selecting the research topic along with research cap methodological recommendations and then developing your research proposal professionally if you found this tool useful don't forget to give your feedback in the comment section and don't forget to share this video with others because this is going to help your other research fellows in free for any further queries visit my website the link is available below we'll see you on another side till then take care of yourself bye bye